Hey guys, welcome back. I apologize, it has been several weeks since I posted a video. That's mainly because, well, life happens. So I have kids and things go on, work, etc. So it's been a while. Uh, but I wanted to give an update on the tank. Um, obviously this tank was started earlier this year, so we're about 10 months into this tank. Uh, I still consider that a new tank. And as part of this, uh, I've reached a phase where I'm getting some dinos. So yeah, look at there, ugly dinos. You see them all over the sand bed? They're gross, they're disgusting. I don't like them. There's a little bit on the rocks, not a ton. Um, they've gotten a little better. So what I figured out was that my phosphates and nitrates are at zero, which is a, not a good thing. And because of that, um, you know, now the bad thing I don't want has taken over as far as the algae uh, goes and, and become more apparent in the tank. So, you know, I want to work on getting my nitrates and phosphates back up, uh, get those. I've increased my feeding to like four times a day, five or six if you count the, uh, there's a good view of it, uh, if you count the mysis shrimp that I'm feeding a cube of and I'm putting the nori in the tank. Uh, so I'm feeding a lot. Uh, and my nitrates are still zero. I've turned the skimmer off. It's been over a week now, uh, and still I had zero. So I've actually got some sodium uh, nitrate to start dosing to help get that nitrate up. Uh, and I'm also dosing some Microbacter 7 to help my bacteria, beneficial bacteria colonies, uh, to reestablish themselves and essentially rebalance the tank. Because uh, what happens, right, Your my bacteria has kind of starved to death with no nitrates or phosphates in the water column to feed them. Uh, and what that means is when you get super low nutrients, then my dinos or things you don't want, unwanted things like cyano or uh, dinoflagellants uh, take over. So that's kind of what I'm dealing with here. I've got very low nutrients. Sorry, the glass is dirty. You can only see it from the end. Um, but I mean, overall the tank still looks good. I'm not you know, super upset about it as far as you know being ugly. I've been in this a long time, so I don't mind if a tank looks ugly. It's part of it. Uh, just, you know, trying to work on things to solve. Uh, so I have added a few new corals since last time. I actually changed the rock work up a little bit. I've got a beach bum monopora, which I love. It's cool. There's a big piece there. I've got another piece on the other side. Uh, there's a saltwater molly, which I picked up. I was given this guy. And there's another one in here somewhere. He's a black Dalmatian Dal molly. Um... Uh, Anyways, these, I don't know, they're okay fish. Just adds more movement to the tank. Uh, they don't do much. They just kind of swim around, pick on stuff, eat algae. Uh, so I don't mind them as much. But yeah, we still got uh, the Duncan coral, got the long tentacle leather coral here. I did increase my light. This also uh, does, does not help the dinoflagellants bloom because um, I've increased my lighting. I ramped it up to, I think, 65%. I got two Kessel A, a uh, 500X lights in here with um, seven feet of T5 lighting. So I got a four-foot light with four bulbs, and I got a three-foot light with four bulbs. Uh, so a total of eight bulbs plus the three or the two Kessel lights. Um, so I've ramped that up. My PAR levels, they're still not super high. At the top of the rock here, you're getting about 200 PAR. Uh, but anyways, everything looks happy. The... Elegant's coral is huge and super happy. He's actually eating on a, on a snail. So if you guys didn't know this, uh, snails uh, can be eaten by an elegant's coral. And if you can kind of see him like right, let's see if I can find a shot here. Oops, like right there. You see that little shell sticking out there? Since I've had this elegant's coral, um, there's been about four snails that have met their demise to the elegant coral, so almost need to put a little uh, barrier or something around there to keep snails out. But once they get too close, the elegant coral makes short short work of them and eats them up. Octospawn's still looking good, growing great. I love this little guy. This long tentacle leather coral is always cool to watch. Not super colorful, I guess, but you know I, I enjoy the pink, uh, kind of pinkish color to it. Got some blastos here. I just moved these. They're super mad. You can see the glue, but yeah, they don't. They're not. They're just not happy right now. Yellow polyps. 
you know, some people hate them, look like Aptasia. This is one of those, I had this in my first tank, so I gotta have it all the time. Or at least have some version of it. Uh, this started off as a small colony, you can see how big it gets, so I have to pick them up and throw them out every once in a while when they start propagating through the sand bed. I got a Gonopora, some green star polyps, my little zoanthid rock that I'm kind of making here, going up here. I got some pallies, got some different colors there. Of course, some rock flowers. We already looked at the beach bum coral. Um, I did move the frog spawn, or some of the frog spawn, not really all of it, just some of it over to here. Uh, it's gotten really big over here, which I'm okay with. I need these little guys to get in there, my little storm clowns. I need them to get inside of there, much like my clowns are the 20 long in the back. Uh, let's see what else. I've got some torches, right? I've got my gold torch. Uh, I've got this, like a cotton candy tipped court torch. I don't know, it's green. It's got like white pinkish tips on the end of it. That's cool. It's actually got like two heads now. And this guy's maybe like four, three or four heads, maybe more. Uh, he's definitely happy. Uh, let's see, this guy, not as happy. But, I don't know, he's hanging out. I don't even know what kind of torch that is, but it's definitely a lower end torch versus these two guys. Uh, let's see, we got some blastos looking good. Hammer coral. You can see my hippo tang in there hiding. He thinks we can't see him, which is a lie. We can see him. Uh, Monty cap up top. Oh, there's that other piece of the beach bum I was talking about. Kind of sitting there in the middle. There's the molly again. Hey, buddy. Uh, my Digitata seem to be doing okay. Uh, everything's going to be doing better once I get these nitrates up so I can get my corals a little more color and healthier looking. Uh, I got tons of frags for the hammer. My Sephastria actually started dying off. Uh, probably because of all the nitrate, nitrates and uh, phosphates being low in the tank and just not really having food, if you will. Uh, but you can see it's actually coming back now, which is good. I've had this rock forever. It's pretty good size. I mean, that's that's a good size rock. Every bit of the size of a football. Uh, look, there's the other Dalmatian nut molly, if you can see. It might be a platy now that I think about it. But anyways, typically a freshwater fish, but kind of hangs out. Cool to watch. Here's the angelfish. Uh, I did add this fairy wrasse, blue-headed fairy wrasse. A uh, super active swimmer. He's everywhere. There's the hippo tank. I guess he, the gig was up. He finally came out. He's been doing great. My coal tank is being thin, though. I think all the extra tangs in the tank have been outcompeting him for food, even though I feed super heavy. I see him eating, but at one point he was very fat and happy before I added all these tangs, so I don't know. I'm considering getting another two tangs and then taking the coal tang out, you know, quarantine the new tangs, and then add them together as a group of three. Uh, it'll do a couple things. It'll help my bio load and actually increase my nitrates, which is good. Uh, so my plan would be to get my nitrates up. And then once I get them up, I want to keep them up or higher, right? Kind of that red fill ratio, like 16 to one. So I want, you know, two to 10 nitrates uh, parts per million. And then roughly 0.02 to like 0.1 PPM of phosphates. That's what I'm going to target. And then I'll just keep it there. So. Uh, then I can turn skimmers on and use Kato and things like that to keep my nitrates down and phosphates uh, in check from that point. There's the other clownfish hanging out. Leather corals doing happy back here. Uh, yeah, so that's a quick update. Uh, I appreciate you guys checking in and checking out the tank. And I'll hopefully keep you updated more frequently uh, as I compete and beat these uh these dinos so thanks for watching bye